Hello everybody. So, um, I have some exciting news. I'm getting my first pair of point shoes tomorrow. Filming the intro today because, yeah. So, I'm going to take you all along the journey, kind of. I'm not going to be filming in the store and all that kind of stuff because it's, it's a small store. And I'm going to be with some other people, so, yeah. But I'm going to take you guys all along. So, excuse the audio. I am using these headphones as mic, as a mic, because I don't want to talk loud, so yeah. So, um, as stated, I have my point you fitting tomorrow, which I'm so happy for, and I don't know why, but, um, today I just really, really wanted to, like, stretch and, like, do all that kind of stuff today, and Sorry, like my little tripod set up kind of got messed up. So, yeah. But anyways, like I've gotten the motivation to stretch. So I'm gonna show you all everything that I'm gonna be using. So, first off, I am going to be using a yoga mat because it's softer, it's cushier, and I just prefer to stretch on it. It feels nicer on the body. Next, because I've been having like sore soreness. Um, I am going to be using some Tiger Balm. This stuff is pure magic. I don't know what it does, uh, but pure magic. Okay. And then in this container, I have a tennis ball, which <laughs> I use to roll out my arches. And then different levels of uh, toughness for TheraBands to help point better. So that's what I'm going to be using. And then. I'm probably just going to stretch a little bit, so yeah. Alright, so, um, I'm going to show you all how I use these because, anyways, let me show you all. So, tennis ball. And then, put it in your arch, and then you just roll it like so. Better to stand. So that's what I did with the tennis ball. You have the fair bands. You you'll take it, put it on the back of your foot. Don't move. Um, you put it on the back of your foot. Then you stretch. It's easier without socks because it won't. And then another thing I do is I put my foot and then so like I'll paint it and then I'm my tear ball. I'll pull it down. So yeah, that's what I do. So it's the next day. Here's the fit. I have a turtleneck with a crop top, some jeans, fluffy socks, keep my feet warm, and we have to wear tights, so my hair's covering, but tights, so yeah, and cat, of course, but yeah, I have a couple minutes, maybe an hour till we have to leave, so yeah. For those wondering, an hour and 15 minutes. So, I'm going to do my makeup, and it's just going to be a little simple. I don't do oh, excuse, like, weird angles. I'm, I don't have proper setups, so yeah. So anyways, uh, here is my primer that I'm going to be using. It's by Smashbox, and it smells like oranges. It's really nice. I don't think they still, I don't think they sell it anymore. Uh, which is a shame because I really like this and I and it doesn't like it doesn't feel like a cream if that makes sense it feels like a it just feels like a thicker serum 
So yeah, and that just is really nice for somebody who has oily and dry skin, which is so confusing to me. But yeah. So next, I'm going to use some concealer. This is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camel Concealer. Don't know if you can read that. I don't have my glasses on. But, and by the way, this is in the shade Fair Warm. That's the shade I get. I mean... I did shade matching online when I first got this, to be honest, did not expect it to go very well, but, so, I put a little on my under eye, I do a little V right there, like a little sun ray, because pimples usually come there, and then I cover the pimples on the other sides to make it even, do that, where's my beauty blender? <laughs> And then I put a little on my chin just to brighten my, just to brighten it up. So. Anyways, <laughs> so I use this end as like the false face end, and then I use this end under the eye to make sure it gets into every corner. So yeah, after after that, I go. I'm almost out of this, but it's the physician's formula. I don't actually know which powder. It's a powder foundation, and I kind of use it as a setting powder and a powder foundation. But um, I don't know which one this is. I usually will just buy whatever one they had, but they didn't have it last time I was buying. Like they didn't. Last time I went out to get it, like, because this is almost done, they didn't have it. So I got an e.l.f. one, and I actually have no clue. Oh, I thought this was the packaging. I got this one. Prime and Stay Finishing Powder and Fairlight. Oh, this is the Translucent Mineral Face Powder, if you're curious. I don't really know the shade. It's just, like one of the lightest ones because I'm pale. I am practically the bouncing beam that photographers use. Okay. So next on the list, I figured out this trick. You put clear mascara on, you do the rest of your makeup, and then you put the black mascara on last and it looks really pretty. So yeah. So anyways, you're gonna notice a theme by the way. And I'm just gonna let you guess. Um so this is the elf clear brow and lash mascara and just apply all there we go we apply just a little bit and then i go ahead while i have this out i'll just do my brows now i know i have thick brows but just because they're thick does not mean they lay down flat so it usually just helps a little bit. Now eyeshadow. Now before you hate on me, yes, I use my fingers to apply it. I really, I'm just the person who, like, I find that when I use a brush, it just doesn't apply the same way, okay? When I use my finger, it, it's creamier, if that makes sense. I don't know how to describe it. Whoa. Anyways, um, so this is the bite size eyeshadow cream and sugar and i put little stickers on it also by elf and i'm using this color as like a darker part on my lid and then i'm using this one on like <laughs> the actual lid so i'm using this in the crease and that on the lid sorry that was so confusing a little bit of the leftover white color in the corner of my eye so yeah and then i'm, I'm gonna use a little white eyeshadow today now I'm not going to show you all. I always hated watching that. But basically you just put it on my waterline or literally like on the lashes. When I use the label. Uh, literally the label just came off. So I'm sorry. I don't know which mess. I don't know what liner this is, but it has a stamp on this end, which is a star, so we might use it. 
outward. So anyways, I do like a little line from the corner of my eye outward and then draw two little fake lashes. I don't know if you can see it, but I draw two little fake lashes right underneath my eye. And it's kind of like a faux 60s look. And because I find it makes my eyes look really big, I want to like narrow them out a little bit too. So then I draw two little lines. Whenever I add the white eyeliner and then the lashes underneath, um, I find it makes my eyes look really big and creepy almost, like very wide. So I find when I add that line, it gives the illusion of a normal looking eye with complicated eyeliner, if that makes sense. It doesn't change my look. Nice. So finally, my mascara that I use is the Ulta Booty Booty. Ulta Beauty. <clears throat> Lash Evolution Fortifying and Conditioning Mascara. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. Sorry, it's so shiny. But this just has like that small brush. Now I should have done one eye with clear mascara and then one with the normal mascara so then you can see the difference. But it gives it a doughier eye look. So yeah. I primarily just put all my attention into the eyes and wow, my glasses are dirty. <sighs> yeah, okay, that looks better. Stick, I'm using one of gas, using the e.l.f. Hydrating Lip, uh, Hydrating Core Lip Shine. This is in the color Joyful. I don't know if they still have this. I don't know, like, I try... Every time I buy something from e.l.f., a week or two later, doesn't exist. Like, an example of this, they, like, the product exists, but the color I bought does not exist. It's like they wait for me. Like, this primer infused shimmer blush, beautiful color, vibrant, so beautiful, which I forgot this, and I got it in always preppy they don't have that color anymore like they have their they have like three other colors and that's it so yeah i got the blush i will usually use like a cream blush but today we're not doing that so yeah so now that i've done my makeup and i've done already today i now have to wait like for my mom to get ready and then we can go and get my print juice what is going to happen is I'm gonna go in. I'm probably just gonna film me going in and then I'm probably gonna include some photos of it. Maybe. And I will film afterwards. guys so um i just got out my mom is going into a store that is like really close to here but anyways uh, i need to show you them so here they are i was fitted into a european balance six by block my dance teacher prefers block and capizio so i mean like she likes how they look on her dancers better so that's why but here are the toe pads I got fitted in. They're these silicone pink ones. Here are the elastic and ribbon. They're just pretty standard. Here is my bag. This is the second time I've had to film it because I think I was filming it vertically, but whatever. So it's this mauvey color. In real life, it's more purpley, but on camera, it's pinky. So... Yeah, and it's just a simple mesh bag. <laughs> I'm so excited, sorry. So, I just got home, and I'm gonna go through, like, everything more in depth, okay? So here's the mesh bag. It's mommy. I just grabbed, oh, that's not what I was expecting. It's like a penny. So cute. And then... Um, here are the toe pads. I'm gonna take them out. Oh, those are super easy. So here they- Whoa, that's, 
they felt a lot weirder in the store. So yeah, I'm gonna keep those in there until like I'm so excited. We're gonna go into the box. And then here are my elastics. So we get one elastic. My dance teacher likes to give us one elastic, so. And then here's the pink little ribbon. I'm gonna show you all. I'm not gonna put them on because I'm not allowed to wear them. Apparently, but. Yeah, so here we are. Oh my gosh, this feels so great. Like, you do not know how great it feels to have my own pair of point shoes and to like feel them. Oh, I can see the nail, like that's the nail in the shank. Wow. So, yeah, these are actually like, I don't know if y'all know this, but these are actually surprisingly heavy. I don't know why. But, yeah, so I'm just gonna throw this all into the bag. My little bag. And I'm gonna put this into 